item 5B. That's the hotel motel tax for FY 2019 county budget. Ms. Black. Um, yes, sir. State statute requires that the Board of Commissioners adopt a county budget plan for use of hotel motel tax proceeds. It also requires the board to obtain a conference center and tourism authority budget plan for um, the use of those hotel motel tax proceeds. Um, and that must be made part of the county budget plan. Um, so you have that before you as well. Okay. Any questions for Ms. Black? That tax is 7? Yes, sir. 7%. Mr. Chairman, the Yes, yeah, please. We also have Mr. Chris Hamilton with us, uh, the director of the conference center. I'd like to make a comment. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so I'm, I'm actually really pleased with this budget because I think it, it will start us down the road to achieving what the board wants to achieve, and that is increasing our presence out to the traveling public. Uh, we've almost doubled the marketing budget. Uh, we have some significant uh, projects, capital projects, to increase our selling space and to improve the conference center. And then we have made some staff changes to help us accomplish all of that. So we were able to fit all of that into this budget, and I'm, I'm actually pretty pleased with it. Chris, there's been a couple of questions uh, presented from uh, the representatives of the Crescent about their expenditures and also... Um, the Sports Commission, can you comment on how you anticipate addressing those sure. concerns? Sure. So we, we have a history of making annual, well, donations, basically, to several organizations. And when you tally it all up, I mean, it was tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, what we're going to do instead is we're going to do business with them. So what I mean by that, instead of writing a check and just handing the money over, we're actually going to be more actively involved in what they do. Uh, in some cases, it's by doing business with them where we're spending money with them. Uh, I'll use the Crescent for an example. Uh, we're phasing our way out of the donating, but we're going to actually do more activities with them that basically we're just, we're, we're spending money with them rather than giving money to them. Like we're renting their hall for our board retreat. We're using their promotional materials in, that we actually pay for. Um, for a lot of the guerrilla marketing tactics we do with promotional items and stuff. And there's actually several organizations we're doing with this. I think I had my last meeting last week with the, the other one. And um, in some cases, some of those organizations have memberships that's, that we're comfortable becoming a member of, but basically it, it, trans, it transplants a donation to an actual business transaction. Does that make sense, what I'm describing? So, <clears throat> so financially, we're still involved in several ways, but we're really going to be more actively involved in the way of consultation, uh, especially marketing and promotion for them, because the best thing we can do for them is to drive bodies to them. That's really what they want is more exposure and all that. So uh, in the way of the sports commission, we still have the main thing we were doing with the sports commission was we provided a budget for um, an incentives pool. We still have the incentives pool, but the incentives pool is going to fall under our group sales department, which is a department we've created. Um, I have encouraged the sports commission to continue operating as a sports commission. And quite frankly, what we're really doing is sort of elevating their decision making to a higher level because now that we have a, a, a dedicated group sales department, which would be the person who would be recruiting sports activities to come, there will be a lot more questions that need to be answered and a lot more reason for the group to convene and discuss what it is we're able to do, what we're not able to do. Um, I've got a stack of things on my desk right now, actually, that would be nice to get in the room together. So they haven't decided whether they want to proceed that way, but um, we are encouraging that. So you are having some conversations then with the with the sports commission as well as the folks at the Crescent as well. Oh, as as absolutely. Planning all of it. Yes, yes. I haven't heard from the sports commission in a couple of weeks, but my last communication with them was that we would like to continue participating and being involved in that, and we are encouraging them to continue to be a commission. Yes. Okay. All right. Any other questions, all right. Mr. Hamilton? Mr. Hamilton, thank you for coming. Thank you all. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions regarding this agenda item? 
Okay, we'll move on.